All right, welcome to the most epic show match you've ever seen in your life. Uh, about the culmination of six years of uh, of grudge matches here. This is going to be uh, Team Liquid against GG Net, and joining me from uh, the dark side is uh, GG Phantom. Hey, how's it going, everybody? All right, so I gotta ask you right off the bat, um, how badly do you think GG Net is going to lose this show match? How badly? Well, it really depends if your players d decide to show up or not. I, I really don't think we'll lose that bad at all. Uh, several of our guys have been practicing practicing for weeks now. You know, training one, two games a day, so it's gonna be tough. But training against who? Other GG Net members? I mean, that's like, you know, you send the kids out to play. That's that. But not really training, in my mind, at least. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's that's a little blow. Hey, our guys are pretty good. We know we know people out there. I don't know. Some people viewing this right now might think, oh, you know, TL's got their Korean friends and GG Nets only got foreigners. But hey, we're pretty good here. We we actually sent one of our guys to Korea uh, recently. Uh, he never came back, so I don't know how well that turned out. <laughs> All right. We've actually been training uh, with the Sea Shield, so uh, I don't know if you guys can match that. I've seen a few of those games, and uh, didn't you guys get raped? I think you guys got raped. So I don't know how much training you really got. Yeah, but it's just story. been we training got to bend over. If you guys have been we training to be raped, you guys are ready. You guys are ready for raping tonight. We got raped by an S-class pro gamer, not by some chumps who don't even play the game that they try to uh, write news about. So, all right. I'm sorry that we try to. Hey, we get news 24/7. You guys write it up, you know, yeah, when you feel like you get it. Get news from us. <laughs> La di da. We talk to pro gamers. Woohoo! Hey, you try pumping out news 24/7. We update people from all over the world. What do we got? We got. Yeah, you updated not just news me from when Korea, I went to your website. Sweden. Got spoiled instantly. Size 72 font. Wait, which one are you talking about? Spirit League? I need... Oh, uh... That, I don't know about. <laughs> Dude, I tried all day to not get spoilers about Spirit. I go to GGNet like oh. five minutes before okay. dinner. I'm gonna Wait, oh, it. okay. So You're talking so about spoiling. Wait. Okay, that, okay. Personally, I don't know what it, what's up with all the spoiling stuff, okay? <laughs> For me, it's like, okay, we update news 24-7, you go to any sports news website out there, you will get updates, like, on the spot, instantaneous. That's what we're trying to do here. I mean, I don't know, don't you feel like there's this whole kind of, kind of thing, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but it feels like everyone's like, okay, you can't spoil it for me, you can't spoil it for me. I gotta wait a whole week first, let me download all the games, all onto my computer, and you know, I could, you know, warm up some cocoa, sit in my comfy chair, and just, and then just watch it. Yeah, okay, I know we're spoiling. But, you know, we're trying to update news 24-7, we're trying to get it instantaneous. If you go to any other sports website out, out there, you'll get the same thing. Just put a spoiler tag, man. It's not a big deal. We one tag, one tag. click. We do try that. We do. Not yeah, on the main page, do. dude. I was... You open the main page right now. Even Bam! Uh, it's so hard, and so it's wins. Hard. Here's the result. But we have a headline system now, right? So, you know, we try not to spoil it. But, you know, to create those headlines where you grab someone's attention, most of the time it's like, oh, you know, a uh, big win here by this and this team. You know, it's just that we don't tell you the entire results now with headlines, right? So it's slightly better. You get what I'm saying? No, I don't, but uh, we're going to settle this in games, not in words. Uh, first game's up. It's going to be on... Uh, I can't even pronounce... Let me try. It's uh, the Autumn Wind. It's... Uh, what is it? Chupong Ryong, I think. Sounds about right. Something like that. I'm not going to even try it. <laughs> Alright. 
So in the uh, in the heroic Team Liquid corner, we have uh, Dead Vessel who's been training for this for for weeks, and in the uh, shameful GG corner, we have uh, GG Groove. Shameful GG corner. Ouch. You're just afraid. That's all. We're all that practicing <laughs> getting Believe raped. All, all that I'm practicing getting afraid. raped. It's gonna come in handy. You're gonna learn how to cry to right now. I know how to cry from when I try to read your news. <laughs> oh. You're just sad that it's better. Yeah, I am. Alright, so uh, in the top right in Terran, we have Groove. And uh, bottom left in Teal is going to be Dead Vessel. Uh, you might know him by Jared or one of his other uh, 45 plus AKAs. So what do you know about this map? Do you know Do you know much about it? Um, actually not really. I've looked at it. Uh, it looks like a fun map. I don't know, quick, quick way through the middle. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah, I think it's, uh, especially in Protoss vs. Terran, um, I think it's a pretty tactical map because there's uh, those two high ground uh, kind of, I don't know, ma mountains if you will, running through the center. And I think you really got to control those. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to see if uh, how much uh, cheese is gonna come into play, or if we're gonna see standard play. I know Jared is, really wants to show his skill, so I'm gonna expect to see standard play out of him. And we see no SCVs or anything out of Groove, so it looks like standard play from him as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I've looked at this map, and there are a lot of places for uh, Dead Vessel to get owned by Groove on this map. So you know, I'm expecting a lot of action and a lot of running away from Dead Vessel. Alright, we can see Groove has misplaced his first depot, that should be below the command center to uh, speed up SCVs. Uh, quick SCV scout coming out from him, and we see a probe coming out from Dead Vessel. See, I don't know if that's misplaced or not. We see a barracks yeah, but, coming but right it to the is. left of that supply depot though, so I don't know. It's not subjective, it's misplaced. Well, you guys can, you know, take whatever edge you need. If that's gonna help him, then, you know, that's gonna help Dead Vessel. Well, it's not like he did it on purpose to make the game easier for us. I'm just saying, he misplaced it. Like, you can read whatever you want into his motives of doing it. I'm just telling you, he misplaced it. There are many ways to win, alright? There are many ways to win. I'm not gonna question what Groove's doing, because he is a master of whatever he's doing. Whatever he's doing, he's a master of it. Yeah, I don't know, but it's good. It's looking good, alright? Alright, second pylon before core. Hmm. Unless I can't see the core, unless I'm blind. So yeah, there's the zealot. Uh, now the core should be coming up. I don't really like this from Dead Vessel, especially because uh, you can see this little bit of a wall group has going up here. Um, it looks kind of like he practiced his zealot build. And he didn't adapt. I really think once he scouted this, he should have cancelled the Zealot and, and gone faster. Cool. Can't say that I agree or disagree. I'm just gonna nod my head. And you can't really see that, but I'm nodding my head. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I keep waiting for a uh, Manor Pile on here, but he's not doing it. Uh, doing a good job to keep that probe alive. Meanwhile, the SCV uh, doing good, uh, taking a couple hits, but. Uh, Still alive, getting scouting done. It sees that later core. Two zealots, really? Uh, that's very strange. I don't really uh, know why he would do that, especially given the wall in. Oh, and there that probe goes. I think it's a sign of, uh, it's a foreshadowing, if you may, you know, of what's to come. Alright, we can split the vote on that one. We see range coming out of uh, Cybernetics Core. Dragoon's going to be coming out of the gateway pretty soon. Second SCV coming. It's going to be interesting to see if he mined the minerals. I mean, he must have. There would be no reason this uh, this SCV would be coming up uh, this quickly uh, unless he, he clicked in on uh, on another mineral to, to glitch it through the zealots. And he's still mining gas here. We've got three SCVs on gas. That's really strange. Typically off of one factor, you're not going to see that. You're going to see one or two depending on if it's FD or Siege Expand, so I'm not really sure 
what that is all about. Alright, so uh, two zealots coming up and a dragoon for dead vessel. The marine at uh, 12 o'clock, just scouting for uh, for any sort of proxy up there. Of course, it's going to find nothing. We've got, wow, quite a few marines here. Six marines, uh, if you include the one that's flanking, I suppose, from the top left. And uh, an SCV to block that. Now a seventh marine, so this is going to be some sort of FD build, I believe, which seems... Why is he still mining three gas? It makes no sense in my mind. Uh, Dragoon at 6 o'clock, scouting for proxies down there, and of course nothing there. And uh, Dead Vessel looks like he wants to play safe. He's got a robotics and of course observatory, so he's going to play really safe before taking that expansion. So it's a straight up game from both of these guys, huh? Yeah, it looks like it, but uh, these two zealots like really not... Fun. <laughs> I think that's definitely going to be coming up in the later games. Um, this is just kind of setting the tone, I think. These two zealots really not going to help Dead Vessel against this FD style build. It's taking a lot of hits from these uh, marines. So he's finally got his second gateway online. Uh, it, it really came pretty late in my eyes. These two zealots still alive, but really deep in the yellow. He's now got enough of an army that he can push back against this FD. Uh, I think Groove has to be careful not to overextend himself here. Uh, decent micro mines up. The mine getting laid down. He, Dead Vessel might be in trouble here. He might have to cancel this Nexus. Uh, he's stalling for the Observer. Now comes the Observer. Trying to mine drag. Uh, that doesn't really work out too well, but I think I think he's got Observers out and he does have uh, Dragoon range, so he should be able to force this back pretty easily. Get his expansion up, but it was late. Uh, so Groove is going to get the advantage from that, but he's pushing forward, he's going to lose his first tank, which uh, you really don't want to do in Protoss vs. Terran. Dead Vessel uh, doing doing decent here to keep all his Dragoons alive, he's still got four Dragoons alive, and uh, Groove is finally forced to retreat here. Oh wow, several of those Dragoons are down to red too. It's true, but in the early game it's mostly, in my eyes at least, about damage output, not about uh, you know your ability to take take hits so uh, you know having five damaged dragoons is is pretty good in the early game so I think dead vessel here he's actually getting a citadel of a dune off two gateways I don't know why he's doing that some sort of dark templar drop possibly I, I don't really like this move what are your thoughts on it well I'm actually a big fan of dark templars anytime I see them come out it's always exciting for me so do you play Protoss? Yes, I do. Yeah, of course. I haven't played in a while, though. I don't know if you can tell <laughs> from my, you know, my vast knowledge that's coming out right now. Yeah, I think it's part for the GG course, to be honest. <laughs> Looks like uh, Groove is is either on the stream or uh, just expects some sort of Dark Templar drop or maybe a Reaver drop putting up a lot of turrets around and he's got one up front so he's going to be well defended if it is indeed a Dark Templar drop, which it looks like. I mean there's a shuttle out, really early shuttle and uh, archives yeah. is uh, coming up now. I don't know, would you say this is kind of late for a Dark Templar drop? I don't know, usually when I like, when I drop, I usually like to drop it early, you know, for a chance that the Terran hasn't gotten his turrets up and I could sort of surprise them. Yeah, this is unbelievably late. Um, I think the problem here is that uh, Dead Vessel has practiced a build, you know. He's, he's got it down, and then he's unwilling to change. I, getting those two zealots out was really a mistake after he saw the wall in. And then you saw what happened against the FD. He, he really had trouble getting it, uh, pushing it back. And, I mean, and this later Dark Templar drop is just a result of that. I mean, everything's compounding. So, I mean, he can still get it back if he gets a good tactical advantage. Uh, gets this expansion at bottom right up, which Groove is aware of. Uh, he can pull it back. Right, and the shuttle is away. Do you see how many are in there? Is it four or two? 
I, I didn't see. Uh, I just missed it. I think there's most likely two, though. Or else we would really? have seen the two... Uh, I don't know, did you see any Dark Templars waiting around the gateway? Because he's only got two I... gateways so far still, so... And a I Templar just came out of that gateway. Alright, let's see. He's gonna run into this turret pretty quick here. He's not careful. Looks like he decides to commit and drop the Templar, so... Yeah, it looks, it looks like, two. like two DTs out. But I mean, without a shuttle, they're they're useless. Uh, no turrets in the main on this side, though. Oh, Turret no. trying to go up. Uh, could be a big mine drag. Oh, first one goes down. Looks like the turret's gonna get up. Good blocking there. So largely uh, an ineffective drop there, and he uh, gave up his shuttle. So no more uh, high templar drops. So yeah, really pretty ineffective play there. I think it was kind of expected, I guess. You know, what can you expect, really? Oh, no, wait. Looks like we got another drop coming down here. See, that shuttle just picked up two Templars and a Zealot. Hmm. So I guess he would probably drop for the natural. I, I don't know if he saw the southern edge of the base, though. So, uh, you know, he might have tried 12, he might be thinking, you know, that was relatively defended, I'll fly in from the south, but we can see there's a lot of turrets there guarding that as well. Looks like he's going to come in from the west, head towards the natural, there, he, there is a spot where he could drop a zealot, take a hit, and, uh, and get a lot of storm off. It looks like Groove deciding to move out, not really anticipating the second drop. I really hope he doesn't go for the high ground, which it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. Big mistake here, he should have gone in from the natural. Uh, now dropping the Zealot, not... Oh, there's the High Templar under there, so a lot of kills there. Wow! Ten kills on that High Templar, that is a beefy High Templar. And now the rest are going to try to dodge. Five kills on that Templar, so 15 kills, wow. Looks like Groove doesn't care, he's trying to move forward. Uh, Dead Vessel getting surrounded by the mines here. A lot of tanks moving in, all the Dragoons look like they're going to get uh, cut up by these vultures and tanks. Reinforcements flooding out. There's a Dark Templar with the reinforcements that might be able to do something. But uh, Groove has a pretty large army here coming in for Dead Vessel's Natural. So, I mean, uh, it's not all in at this point, but uh, this, this uh, attack for Groove has to do quite a bit of damage given that he just lost 15 SCVs, and it looks like. He has the proper timing here, he's going to be able to kill the natural, and looks like he's not fooling around. He's sending a tank flanking around to the bottom right, where uh, there's only a bunch of probes and a single cannon. So that shuttle is still in the main of Groove, uh, picked up uh, some Templar, looks like it's going to try to float around to the main. No turrets in the way, there's one by the geyser, but that's going to be largely uh, useless. The, the natural nexus has gone down. And now that cannon at bottom right is getting beat on while the Templar are dropping. Templar, looks like the SCVs, oh, bad placement for that storm. Uh, getting about six SCVs and the second one just getting a few. But, uh, you know, disrupting mining. So he's Dead Vessel doing a good job there. But he's going to lose two expansions at the cost of a couple SCVs. So uh, I, I think he's really in a bad position here. He's going to need a shuttle or speedy zealots or something to break out of this good tank positioning that Groove has. Groove is no answer. Oh, now a turret coming up for this attack, this uh, shuttle in his main. Dead Vessel trying to flood down. Uh, really terrible micro there. Bad tactics by him. Trying to flood through this ramp where vultures are clogging up. Now he's got a shuttle out trying to drop, but it looks like he's just lost his edge. It's, it's uh, looking like this Nexus at bottom right is going to go down. And once his natural is down, I mean, he'll only be mining from his main, and that's a recipe for disaster and for us for staring. Groove, uh, not fooling around with here, looks like he wants to end it. He's trying to drive up with just a couple tanks. I don't know where his vultures have gone off to. He must have lost them. 
Only four tanks now, and uh, Dead Vessel presses back. That shuttle in the main looks like it must have died to turret fire because I don't see it anymore. Uh, that's really unfortunate. And uh, Groove is going to take position at this uh, this middle ridge on Des Dead Vessel's side of the map. And we can see Dead Vessel has lost everything at bottom right. He still has the probes, but he has to get an army over there to kill these tanks so he can uh, freely get them back. But I mean, he doesn't really even need the probes at this point. He doesn't have a natural nexus to send them to. So things looking uh, really dire here at this point. At this point, I believe my co-commentator may be AFK. I haven't heard from him. No, I'm still here. No, I'm just relishing, you know, in the in the battle here. Those drops were kind of disappointing, huh? I don't know, it's very hard for me to watch a Protoss lose, yeah. The Templar kind of disappointing. The Dark Templar, Templar drops, it was just all The well, High Templar bad drops were good, the, the Dark Templar drop was bad. But yeah, I, yeah, I, th I think he, uh, as I keep saying, he, he planned out a strategy, didn't really adapt. I think that's going to be a theme today, people, you know, especially when we get to people who aren't actually active in StarCraft, probably have one build planned out and they're just going to do it, because that's, that's all they really know at this point. Last I checked, uh, the Gosu bet, I believe Team Liquid was actually up, but it was close when I left. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's 52:48 now for Gosu gamers. <laughs> you guys can barely win your own pools. <laughs> no, it's just you know, there's a bias going on. That's all. I think I think what it is is you know people think oh TL covers Koreans, they must know a lot more about the game, but they don't know. They don't know the skill we have. I agree that there is a bias, but should you not think that the bias on your own website should be pro your own website? I'm pretty sure most of those bets were from, you know, were probably newly registered members from like the past week. Just, you know, getting ready. That's fair, but shouldn't your members be able to cover that? Is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Like, look at the poll on but, TL. It's not even close. Like, yeah, but when you people, bet, you want to you you want to bet with the odds against you, so you win more, right? So maybe that's why. I don't really know. You know, what? I'm not gonna defend the betters. I'm not gonna defend the betters on this one. Yeah, when they dude, lose, I, th just th I think it's probably better you pulled up shop at this point. <laughs> Long range mining now? Wow. Oh, he's putting up the Nexus at bottom right. Strange. The Groove has decided not to rebuild his economy. He's not building a CPU. Like he's got that expansion. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's three. Fighting with probes now. Probe Zealot Dream. He's got probes to spare, so why not? I think we're just about ready to call this one. Some cute shuttle play, but yeah, that's really not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. There goes those probes. Oh! And it looks like Groove has found the bottom right expo up again. So that's slowly getting taken out. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Say it. Say it. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Ah, right. uh, there we go. Kid games. Alright, hey, there it is.
Jared. You can c clean out your locker at the club. You're fired. Alright, so that was pretty underwhelming, I think. Uh, hopefully we can see something special here from these next games. Either special or very unspecial. I don't want anything kind of in the middle. Special or not special? What I'm trying to imply is either cheese or players who are extremely bad. Alright, Vilda's coming up next. Go Vilda. It's a heavyweight match, Plexa against Vilda. This is this is a pretty heavyweight match. Plexa who I don't know if you even play StarCraft anymore. Does Vilda play? I don't even know. She does sometimes. Mostly twos though. How come you guys didn't put her in 2v2? We didn't want to beat you guys up too badly, you know. We figured, you know, give her a try at one on one. Interesting. PBZ on Medusa. You know, I don't even remember her playing Zerg, so. <laughs> <laughs> she plays Zerg! <laughs> Alright. Do you even work for Ghost of Gamers? Who are you? How did you get on I this Ventrilo stream? I'm on. I'm actually on a bit of hiatus here, so. I'm actually Ghosty Gamer's best kept secret. You don't even know when I put up a news post. <laughs> Why? Because it looks like the source where you stole it from? Haha. <laughs> hey. I source my news. And I change it too each time I source it. I'm gonna expect a sound bite to be made out of that by the time this <laughs> is over. I change my news when I steal it. Oh no, right, I'm so gonna get quoted many times, aren't I? Yes, yes you are. So here we go, this is gonna be a pile on jump. I think, no. And he's walking right by the overlord with that probe. I'm thinking he's gonna proxy, but I don't really should be going down pretty soon here unless he's gonna fast expand and quick scout oh wow so no proxy oh is he no he still might no he's not gonna proxy yeah there he's he gonna goes. fast expand I don't know why he's scouting with two pros maybe checking for four pool or something what the hell I think he just saw creep I don't know why he left uh, I'm I'm pretty confused. oh he's gonna pile and jump is he gonna do the pile? He's gonna do the pile. Uh, dude, no, he's just uh, gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does he do it? Oh, he does! There he goes! I don't even see why that was necessary, though. He could have just walked around the creep. Like, what? <laughs> what the oh, the Overlord's gonna see this probe too. <laughs> All that sneaking around for nothing. Oh, oh look! Can. Wow. Right oh, under the, cancels. almost under the Overlord too. I wonder if she saw that. Oh, he cancels. I oh, hope so she saw it. Oh, she's moving the Overlord. Yeah, there he goes. Still not putting down a pool. Oh, he's canning her natural. <laughs> this is great. Now the pylon goes up at the main. Drones down to respond. The old double cannon. I think it's I think it's three drones to kill a cannon, but I could be wrong. You see three are pulled. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Vilda notices that cannon at the expo at all. Yeah. I don't know who's gonna come up ahead here though. Like clearly you should not cannon behind the main. But Let's see if he's gonna try keeping that probe alive. 
the issue is when six Zerglings get made and just sent to Plex's main. I don't know if he has any plans for that. But the one with the natural goes up. Let's see if the hatchery gets cancelled. It's getting beat on right now. It gets cancelled. Yes, it does. And so it looks like uh, looks like Zerg has been kind of punished into one base. Here's six Zerglings coming. Cannons are coming up, but Plex is natural too, so it looks like he'll be okay for now. And for people unfamiliar with this map, um, where those like two there. mineral patches are, where yeah, exactly, where uh, <laughs> for like like all of uh, the people who read GhostyGamers.net, um, where those two mineral patches are, there's a temple, but that's not a single temple. I believe there's between eight and ten temples stacked on top of each other. So it's not like Vilda can just run in uh, a, a couple Zerglings, kill the temple, and get into Plex's main. And Plex had just sneaked up another uh, room up that ramp where the temple is. Yeah, but there's no way Vilda is going to let him can in there again. For people complaining about the uh, the score, uh, that score is just for the players. It's not for the entire match, so that's not going to be updated. I, it would look weird since it's just for the players. Zergling's coming in now to the natural, getting uh, deflected. I don't know what the follow-up is going to be. We see Vilda is still mining gas, so looks like she wants to go lair. Uh, no, just making pure zerglings at this point. I, I think that's really not going to work. Uh, Plex has clearly practiced this. He's got his forge pylon and uh, gateway blocking really well. Two, two uh, cannons guarding that. So and we see Lair now from Vilda and making drones. So what do you think uh, Vilda's Mutalist Micro is going to look like? Are we talking about uh, Jadong or someone you found in the back alley? Uh, it'd be like her trying to micro siege tanks, basically. I don't know if you've <laughs> seen that before. I'm not following the analogy, <laughs> but I'm assuming siege it's bad. Siege tanks? Have you ever seen siege tanks move? You get the analogy now? Fair enough, she's going after the Protoss Temple, it looks like now. Uh, I Obviously, yeah, she's I never seen this map either, either, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, there, <laughs> there was a game where I, I nine-pooled, and I sent my Zerglings initially just to the temple, and like by the time Corsairs were out, that's the timing, when I had those six Zerglings in the base. That's how many temples are stacked, wow. so... Looks like she's going lurker, so I don't know if this is going to be lurker drop or what. It's really weird. I don't really think lurkers are going to do anything, but clearly Spire would be the better choice. Maybe she's just going to go mass hydralisks and then, you know, tech to hive, uh, yeah, tech to hive, get out some swarm, who knows. It's Vilda, really, basically. <laughs> she's random, really. You, know, you can't expect... You can't expect anything that comes out. Yeah, like, you know, the Zergling is beating away at those temples right now. I don't think anyone saw that coming. <laughs> I just and it noticed looks... this hatchery at bottom right. Yeah. It's kind of strange. I was just about to say that. See what I tell you, Vilda. Didn't see it coming. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Typically, you don't see things coming because they're not good. And you know what? If Vilda does break down those uh, six to eight temples, Plex is gonna, you know, get screwed. I can see it coming. He also has three zealots. Eh? <laughs> she just stopped. <laughs> All right, enough of this. I just realized. Willpower, willpower, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you're discovering the map as you're playing it. Oh. Oh wow. I'm reading Team Liquid uh, IRC right now. No, that's not nice, guys. It's not nice. <laughs> you jerk. 
Why, Vilda? Why did you stop? Just keep going. Oh, no. we got two lurkers. Out. But seriously, by the time she gets through there, it's gonna be like Flux is gonna have like archons. <laughs> Looks like he's going Reaver Ser, or I don't know why he would skip Templar after Stargate, or why he would go Stargate right after this. Yeah, very strange. But he's got a probe now, checking his temple, so he can see if something's trying to break through. Uh, a couple Zerglings. Where did those lurkers go? Oh, they're there at the natural. So we've got. I don't even know if this qualifies as a contain. It's two lurkers. About ten Zerglings and two Hydralisks. That's really all she needs, so... It's Vilda, come on. She's got a plan behind this. I'm confident in it. Alright, uh, Corsair coming out of the Stargate now. Uh, an Observatory and Citadel of a Dune, so... I think we're gonna call Plexa uh, inconceivably ahead at this point. I'm just gonna mention, uh, there's no plus one on the forge, which is kinda strange. Clearly Plexa didn't uh, plan out his build to go past the cannoning phase. <laughs> no need for upgrades. Really, you'd think with all those units she would kill like the cannons that are natural, but uh, I guess not. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Oops. All right, so observers out now, but these are slow zealots. That is not gonna work. These zealots are just gonna get ripped apart. I gotta imagine zealot speed is is probably about half done. Four gateways for Plexo, he's about to lose one of them. He's got a Templar Archives. We're getting uh, statistics off the overlay that Plex is mining 1500 minerals per minute and uh, Vilda is at 600. So uh, we've got two and a half times margin here. Wow. I'm hoping that's all she needs though. We'll see what happens. Yo! I was expecting uh, a lot worse play out of this game. It's, it's, you know, it hasn't been like top tier, but it's it's still not bad. This lurker push is it's pretty good. Like they're they're spread out from the cannons, it's still in a good containment formation. It's not bad. So just making pure zealots. Wow. Oh, it looks like he realizes. Oh, now everything's unpowered. Looks like Vilda's gonna move in, and that is not gonna work. These lurkers are just gonna get surrounded by some yeah, zealots. This is gonna hurt. Hurt, there goes those lurkers. Yeah, I can't see the overlay, but I gotta imagine Plexus Supply is at. I'm gonna guess 90, and Vilda, I'm gonna guess, is at. 50. 40? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I can't I can't see the actual overlay. Oh, well, the actual stats are 90 for Plexa, 40 for Vilda. Or 89 to 39. Bad for random guess. Looks like this is gonna be it. This is gonna finish it up. Dark Templar and Zealots are grounding the workers, and, and that's going to be it. So, a failed cheese attempt, but uh, the natural cheese worked, and that's going to be it. Well, that Dark Templar snuck in, got a lot of drone kills, but I mean, it doesn't even matter at this point. The old Protoss A move. Nothing beats it. So how high on the icy cup did you get with the Protoss A move? Like, 
A plus. Who, me? Oh yeah, right, me. I'm the only one here. <laughs> no, uh, not very high. Can't say I tried. Was your A cup? Or your A button? Uh, <laughs> my, my A cup? Your A what? cup, yeah. My A button? Maybe your one was a little sticky? I don't know. I got nothing I to say about that. I can't, I just can't fathom a Protoss not getting to at least B+. Plus. What, with the A button? 1A, 2A, 3A, G, G. It's harder than it looks, man. What race do you play? <laughs> no, it's really not. I play the real race, Zerg. Oh, sorry, the real race. No, I've tried Zerg, I've, I've never could get the hang of it. It's not that fun, I mean... Oh. I wonder you why, because you play Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just mass a bunch of stuff and you attack. It's yeah, almost it's as bad as the, all, the aim. That's all it is. There, there we go. GS? I don't know what that means. G's? Yeah, you know, plural of G. G's. Never She's too lazy video. to type out GG. She wants to type out <laughs> Alright, so I think we got our first uh, 2v2 here. Alright. We got uh, L LML and Groove against uh, GTR to go and Honor Insane. This is going to be on Hannibal. Which I really like as a 2v2 map. Ariador is asking if uh, Vilda is going to press charges. So I think in this game, uh, well, if it's played properly, it's going to be Zerg Protoss against Zerg Protoss. I don't think we can really expect too much about or out of the Zerg players. Uh, I think it's really going to come down to which of the Protoss players can mass up enough units. I just can't really imagine proper Muta Micro coming out of you know, either team. You have the longest tag I've ever seen. Good thing is an ID is only three letters. LML. I've never asked him what it stands for. I imagine it's an homage to LOL, which is what you think when you see him play. Oh, oh what well, happened to, what to, what happened to the uh, GG team? Whoa. Forfeit! <laughs> what? Team GG forfeit. <laughs> Tell your players to update chaos, god damn. That's impossible. Groove was in the first game. What do you mean, update chaos? I I don't know. I know what I saw. <laughs> and I see in the ID GosuGamers.net uh, the profile says. TeamLiquid.net owns us. Winking sad face. It's unfortunate. Which one is that? 
gosugamers.net. <laughs> Who'd you guys put up to do that? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm gonna grab another beer, I'll be right back. Alright, well, there oh, goes Groove again! I think All you just right. gotta play through it. Let's, let's do it. Uh, I mean, you can have a comp ally. Come on, L L M L. Come on. You can do it. God damn! If this was teal attack, we would have banned you so fast. Oh, that, that's a surprise. Quick ban button. Well, you guys gotta get your user base from somewhere. <laughs> Mastermind fake Steve. Oh look, there's a tail down there. Dropping beats. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> your boy say it on the mic. Are you looking at the tail uh dot net profile? No, I, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie just got banned. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. Oh, but there you go. Wanna do me and the homie say, Damn, I can see it in their eyes. They yeah, Van Gossy Gamers done that. Come on, let's go. You got tiny peas. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. Begin with a suplex into a body slam. Feeding bitches' elbows off the fucking You heard the crotch master song? The Bible from the motherfucking no, I haven't. Thou shalt not hell oh, any man crotch master. You wanna play it? One true crotch so good. <laughs> They're playing it on the stream. I can tell because if, if you go to TLI or C, it's just people yes, spamming crotch I'm always not as fresh as my jams. If you start shit, I just open my fly and you'll tremble in fear when my beast meet your eye. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. Smoke a hundred joints till the fucking AM. Huffing, puffing, smoking my dope news. Speaking in the Bible from the motherfucking pole. Thou shalt not cover my right. wife. Let's see how badly this fails this time. Belongs to the crotch master. I'm crossing my fingers. Don't sweat it. As badly as the majority of those two gamers' yes, projects. Yes, I am. If you see me coming, oh. you better scram. Oh. If I should turn around too abruptly, my muddy sea dragon would knock you right off your feet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God wow, damn it. there he goes again. There he goes. You know, can we just sub, sub someone him in? in Is yeah, that, yeah. Just sub him. You know what? Even I'll play. <laughs> While casting? Alright. Gives me a chance to scream at my partner while I play, so. I like how someone is in the channel asking for a game. I think we should have a commentator battle as well. On the game, right? We're not gonna do any like freestyling or anything, right? <laughs> Freestyle battle? Oh, oh you my know god. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be bad. I don't think people would listen to the stream anymore. Yeah, no one needs to hear that. <laughs> Look at the IRC. <laughs> They're calling for a freestyle battle. <laughs> Game.
game's up, by the way. A unit sound battle? <laughs> I'm down with that. Alright. I'm up for going into play. I'll do it. You'll play? Yeah. Is no one else is no one else gonna come in? I don't know. I don't run ghosty gamers. Alright, yeah, okay. Let's do this! <laughs> Alright. Before we start, uh LM LML, uh just uh, whisper me the strategy here. My comment about uh, terrible mutalist micro really applies now. I should mute vent, I? Alright, let me mute this. No, 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 it's alright. I'll just, uh, I'll whisper you sweet nothings while you play. Yeah, I'm gonna mute this, so... No. <laughs> You've been muted. I can't hear you, chill. I can't, sure you can't. can't hear you. Don't know what you're saying. Sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Now, now I'm solo? <laughs> this is bullshit. I so want him to drop. That would just complete the circle. <laughs> Complaining about lag. Hey. You're clearly B plus level where this lag is going to affect you. Plus you play Protoss, so I mean, I guess the latency between the A and 1 uh, key presses may be a little annoying, but uh, it's not that big a deal. Oh, hey, what's up, Zil? Okay, uh, I should probably actually commentate what's going on. We got insane Protoss, uh, yeah, this red. Leg is pretty bad. At the bottom left, we have uh, Terran GTR at the bottom right. So it's bottom left and bottom right. And GTR is playing Terran on Hannibal. Uh, I don't know what I think about that. Actually, yes, I do. I think it's terrible. Um, now we have uh, LML Protoss Teal at the top right and Phantom uh, Purple Zuri at the top left. I don't know why we decided to put in a Protoss and Terran, but uh, we'll leave that where it may. I guess for the same reason I told GTR to put me in the lineup, and he didn't. Oh, GTR's random. Alright, it all makes sense. I'm sorry, GTR, I take back everything mean I've ever said to you. Which is probably a lot. Uh, we've got nine Overlord from the Zerg. GTR putting down a depot. I believe that is properly placed. And uh, Barracks coming up now. He's now SCV scouting. And no probe scout from Insane? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure Protoss is supposed to be the one scouting, and Terran is not even supposed to scout at all. Because they need SCVs a lot more than Protoss needs uh, probes, but uh, I guess. We'll see what happens. He's sending a probe to the center of the map. Uh, this is kind of strange. Now, okay. Apparently I don't know the map. Apparently that's the quickest route. We've got two gate from both Protosses. Uh, Zerg is going to... I missed that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like overpool. Possibly. Don't hate me if it's wrong. Maybe, oh, what? where are these drones coming from? Twelve pool? Twelve pool gas. <laughs> and uh, two racks from, from GTR, so very kind of standard openings, I guess. I don't like 
the 12 pool um, out of Zerg because Hannibal is very easy to defend. I mean, you have creep guarding your ramp right from the get-go and you have very few minerals. So I think you need to get Lair ASAP. It helps give you map control and helps give your Poros uh, partner a lot more options. Uh, we can see LML is now adding a forge, which seems extremely strange to me, but I guess he's trying to hold his ramp against the inevitable Zealot Marine push that's going to come from uh, Team Liquid. And uh, I guess his Zerg partner is not poised to help him defend. Uh, GTR adding gas, looks like an academy? Yeah, quick academy, which I think is strong in 2 vs 2. And insane, adding a single gas, he has a couple zealots out, so, three zealots. I don't know what Chill's saying right now, but you wouldn't believe this, I just realized I had an extra extractor. And in the meanwhile, while he's saying that, he lost 21 HP off his drone. I was really hoping he would lose that, but uh, I guess I guess that'll come later. Cannon now up in possibly the worst placement I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen a lot of bad placements. Uh, we've got uh, Cybernetic Score coming up, and both Protosses. Looks like Insane's is a little quicker. Uh, Academy done. Do we want Zeo on the stream? Yes, we do, Rage. Yes, we do. Academy researching something, of course you're going to assume that's STEM. Zio, get, it, get in here, man. Uh, and everything looks boring and standard. Hey, what's up, Klaus? What? <laughs> Klaus, man, press your push to talk, but... Plazer, unmute Plazer, your mic. Unmute your mic. Man, my one chance to dual commentate with Plazard and he chokes? What is this? I think you're supposed to hold a doctorate. What's going on? Oh, hi, chill. This is Plazard. Uh, you want an uh, audio commentary with me? <laughs> yes, I do. This is a dream come true. Oh, oh god. Oh <laughs> 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 well, guys, so what's up? Clazer, I haven't seen you in a while. What's what's been up, man? What have you been up to? Ah, uh, well, uh, I'm always uh, busy with my commentaries, you know. Uh, Right now, I'm not even in this game, so yeah, it's pretty accurate uh, which uh, what I'm gonna say about this game. Yeah, uh, ve very, very good play, very, very good play. Yes, very good play. Oh, it's unbelievable play. It's, it's just uh, tell me about what you think about Insane. He's a, he's a really good player. I think. Tell me about uh, the history of him, how he's affected. You. Oh, well, uh, he's been a very good, very good inspiration for me all my life, yes. Uh, I've always watched him with Miss Klazart. Um, always my dual commentaries, you know, yes. <laughs> I can't, I can't even talk. Oh, by the way, Phantom got raped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh man! <laughs> All right. Okay, the IRC channel. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So Phantom got raped. So it's now just Protoss. That Templar out. I think they just want you to solo commentate, um, even though you can't see the game, I, I, I think it's good.
for anyone wondering like who that was, it's just it's Clazar. That's who it is. Clazar SC. Well, of course. Who are, who else? You know. I know. That's what I've been telling them. But uh, we got a lot of haters on uh, the Team Liquid IRC. Clazar, maybe uh, you could tell me a little bit about the Bisu build. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard uh, Bisu invented it, of course, um, and I, I've heard as soon as Protoss puts down his first pylon, you can tell he's going Bisu build. Well, yes, it all comes with experience, chill, you know. No, I, I don't know. I mean, I've only been playing this game for eight years, whereas you've been commentating for, I mean, going on two years, so... You clearly have tons more experience than me. Oh, oh yes, actually, I have to thank Yubi for that. Yes, Yubi is actually the fault that I exist. Thanks, Yubi! <laughs> <laughs> if you add up all Yubi's failures and uh, triumphs, I think he's in, like, like very much in the negatives. <laughs> Of course, Clazar being one of the triumphs. Alright, so I'm back. Right, so I'm back. Oh, I see you're dying to a lot of probes. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna get kicked out of this game. Oh, here I go. It's like a slow countdown. Clazar, have you met my friend, Phantom? Oh, hi, Phantom. How are you? <laughs> How's it going, man? Are you aware of uh, who this man is, Phantom? Yeah. One of the greatest English, English okay. commentators who ever existed. Yeah, commentators. Not a big fan of English commentary, though. What? Can't say I'm, you know. The hell is wrong just with don't you? Follow. So, are you still commentating the game? No, I'm just not wondered. really. I'm, I'm just talking to Clazart. I see GTR is floating a lot of buildings around. It's pretty fantastic. Oh, you're not even in the game anymore? Hmm, that's unfortunate. I was waiting for you to say something. Looks like, uh... Looks like LML is going for the pod. Um, are you aware of the pod strategy? Say, say chill, uh, we might invite a good friend of mine, he's a Mexican commentator from SE2GG, uh, maybe we can invite him, you know? <laughs> sure, what's his ID? Well, he's in the vent channel, you can uh, invite him. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, no. Someone who has vent admins, please, please get oh, him. Oh, funky. Oh, funky. I know the troubles that's a code. Uh, we've got a shout out via pylon art. Speaking of shout outs. Speaking of shout outs. Yes, amigo, yes! Oh my Welcome god. Welcome to the garden! Someone's gonna remove it, him right now. <laughs> and there he goes. What is this? What is this symbol coming in? Ah, TL owns. I can fill in the blanks now. So GTR gets it done. What a hero! Hero of the day. Phantom just gets owned. <laughs> hey, hey! I was playing Zerg. Didn't want to make it Protoss. Protoss. 
That just wouldn't be fun. Yeah, you're missing out what people are drawing in your old base. As of now, someone expanded in your old base and wrote, Hi, TL owns GG. Oh my god. It's alright, there's still, uh, what, three games left. I'm, I'm confident in now uh, Mark Coon coming up and Effort. And our next, uh, <laughs> choose two. Effort. Definitely. I'm very confident Effort will lose. And that's gonna be all she wrote. I think Vision has been given at this point because uh, <laughs> LML just realizing that uh, he needs to leave. That's what he does. So it's 2 1 Team Liquid at this point. Momentum in the corner. I can't imagine they're gonna drop another game. Alright, before I forget again, I don't know if he's listening, but uh, I'm going to make a shout out to Matt Class, aka Lord Weird on GG.net. Awesome guy. He actually should be shoutcasting right now, but his internet sucks, so. Yeah, that guy's, he's actually a cool guy. Like, he's like one of the three that I like from GG.net. Not awesome just hard to please, you just, you know. I just don't like oh, a lot of people. True. That's probably it. I don't like a lot of people? Yeah. You're just a very mean person, you know? You're not chill at all. Uh, You're like frozen. No, like it's very true. Schools. We, um. I've often said that myself and Rage should trade IDs. <laughs> he hasn't gone for it yet. Alright, so this next map, Destination. Haven't looked at it. Can't say, you know, I know this map. <laughs> I know, wow. why would I lie? Alright, is that, is that, that's a fake accent. Like, what the hell? What are you trying to pull? Are you calling me a liar? I am calling you a what? liar. What? I will call you out right now. You live, where in Canada do you live? I will put a bet on this right now. A bet on where I live in Canada? No, I'm just gonna come collect the money after. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Calgary. Shit. Keep your money. Where are you? I live in Toronto. Uh, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, just outside. Yep. Where? Where in Toronto? Uh, do you know where Mississauga is? Yeah, I used to live in Whitby. Oh, okay, yeah, I live in Mississauga then. You ever go to WCG? I did, several times. I might have seen you there, actually. Which one do you really? go to? Uh, if you want. Um... I went to 2K6 in Montreal, I went to 2K2, the one that was at Finch and Young, um, and I went to, the, there was one that was in Markham at some cafe, I think that was in like 2K2, I went there. Did you go to the one at Palladium? There were, I think there were no. two times that they had it at Palladium, and uh, Guillaume Petri decided to come. Were, were these regionals or, or like finals? No, finals finals. No, the only finals I ever went to was 2K6. Oh, the one in Laurent. I, I, I never, yeah, I never qualified, like, past the Toronto Regional. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it's a crotch master. The man himself. Mr. Bakesy. Get that wrestling intro music. I'm the crotch master, yes I am All the girlies wanna do me and the homies say Damn, I can see it in their eyes You need they to just go to YouTube me. and well, I'm type sorry, in fellas, crotch you got master tiny pee -pee. I'm the crotch master, yes I am Be You might wanna turn the volume all the way down Or you may go deaf from its sound Or its sound Thou shalt not hail any man crotch master But the one true crotch master Or the man be up in your grave 
like crotch master. Yes, I am. My scrotum always smells as fresh as my jams. If you start shit, I just open my fly and you'll tremble in fear when my beast is Speaking of manifesto, where is that guy? Are you sleeping right yes, now? Am. What time is it in Japan? Japan? Uh, in Korea, it is... Thou shalt not covet thy wife, because thy wife already uh, belongs to the crotch master. Almost five. So don't Japan, it's hands, probably like six or seven. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. If I don't know how the time zones work over there. there. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. I have no idea. Well, Korea, I think Japan's plus one from Korea. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know anything about Japan. Anyway, we have uh, a TVT here. We have the Crotch Master Fake Steve at bottom right in Teal Terran. Or, excuse me, that is actually Marcoon. He's at the bottom right in Teal Terran. Fake Steve is at the top left in Yellow Terran and sending out, I think, believe that was his sixth SCV. So, we're going to see a bunker rush. Or perhaps a fast expansion. You never know, you know. <laughs> Are you a leprechaun? <laughs> That was what was that? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, it's unclear. What is it gonna be? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be in time. The barracks is about just under half done. The barracks for Marcoon is just going up now. Oh, and he's left room for a bunker. Big mistake. If you walled that off and there's no bunker room, then maybe he would have a chance. But he's left room for a bunker, so I think he's pretty much screwed. Mm. Does that happen on this map? Like. Is it something that happens often? No. No, Fake Steve is just the ballsiest Terran you ever did see. I mean, that's why he's a crotch master. Barracks done now, Supply Depot is also done. Is the Marine gonna come out? I wanna see a bunker going up ASAP, but we don't see it yet. And there's actually a spot here if he builds a bunker below the barracks that it would trap in the marines. Looks like no bunker... and it looks like... what is this SCV doing at top right? Do you guys know the maps that you're playing on? Well, I, you know, I don't know the maps, so I'm hoping he does. What? Why is this a delayed marine rush? What is going on? I'm so confused. Second SUV coming out now. For, and Proxy Factory. So we have Proxy Factory against Proxy Barracks Marine Rush. Not rushing, saving three and then rushing. But good thing Marcoon built zero Marines. Uh, bunker? No bunker. He's just going to target the depots. I don't know what's gonna happen. If he loses those depots and then he can't build a vulture, then it's out of his proxy factory. It's clearly gonna be over. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't get why he waited. It doesn't make sense to me. Marine hitting the other Marine. One Marine down. Ah, oh, fake Steve. What do you do? Right, and that factory just finished. Doesn't look like my coon is paying attention to that though. I think he has enough supply, he can build something out of it. This is the weirdest game I've ever seen, but now he's got control of the barrack. Now what? Now he's retreating, now he's coming back in. I think my coon just wants to get a vulture in his main base up first. Just trying to finish that factory in that bunker. 
Oh, look at that, a machine shop. What the hell? I think a good follow-up would be Wraith, not Two-Fact. Because with that bunker up, I don't know what Steve's gonna be able to do. Now floating his barracks in. Back to SCB production. He's got, uh... He's got one factory up in his main in a minute, and a second factory coming. Harkoon has a factory in his main, not producing anything. Now he's gone back to... Everything is burning. He's gone back to repair. Uh, it looks like Marcoon's building a mulcher right now. Out of in his main, yeah, he is. Right. Nothing and coming out of. He is something researching really something machine. out of his yeah. Machine challenge. I don't know if that's siege or mines. I would guess mines, but I think siege could be good too. See some not a vulture micro here. Lift that barracks and do it. But you know what? Marcoon stopped uh, mining gas, so I don't think we'll see tanks coming out of that factory anytime oh, soon. True. Good eye. Something that CV wants to do something at 12 o'clock. I don't know what it's doing. It's just spazzing out. Fix these engineering bay going on. Yeah, what's up with that? What the hell? Proxy eBay. Alright, sick. He's got he's trying to uh, he's lifting the barracks, so barracks is gonna live. Depots not under attack. What is going on? I'm so confused. Now he has a tank out, so maybe that was siege. I think I don't know. Is Fake Steve listening to the stream? Maybe he was expecting wraiths. Like he was just following uh, what. He's expecting wraiths, but that's not <laughs> what's gonna come. But that's what you suggested. Now we got a tank coming out of Marcoon. He researched sieged. Looks like he had enough gas just for that research. And he's gonna slowly mine away those minerals at the ramp. Yeah, so people who don't know this map, those minerals are all zero. So you can mine them over and over, but you have to keep mining them. I don't know how many are stacked there, but yeah. Um, and I also suggested Steve do wraiths, so... Oh, okay. I don't know about your che cheater accusation. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's interesting. What's he doing with I mean... I don't know, there's nothing wrong with know. playing safe. This is weird. Head. I think he can hit the machine shop. No, I think if he moves up. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can. Goes. There you go. But research is clearly going to finish in time. Right, and Jake Steve has just landed his barracks. North Sick. part of. Uh, Show me that academy. <laughs> Firebat. Marcoon is not building SCVs in his main base. I don't know what yeah. is going on. Not researching anything. Yeah. He's just got like a mishmash of units. Can someone in uh, TL cast tell me what it says on the overlay of the uh, mining? Uh, who's mined more in the last minute? Looks like a marine just came out of fake Steve's uh, barracks. Okay, so the mining is 944 for Steve, 592 for Marcoon, so almost a, uh, a 2 to 1 margin there. It really doesn't look good, and he's not trying to repair that by building more SCVs. And he sent his vultures away, vultures which have no research, uh, and now these marines are going to cut up his SCVs. I mean, fake Steve has enough to hold the ramp, I would imagine, with just, uh, he's got a single tank. And uh, a Goliath. I don't think he's going to be too affected by these vultures. And here come the Marines. Looks like they're going to target the SCVs. Let's see how long it takes Marcoon to react. One SCV down. All the SCVs pulled. Nothing researching out of the factory. It looks like the Marines are in hold position. Now the vultures coming back. So, I mean, that's going to be zero mining time in the last minute for Marcoon now. He does have. Uh, four tanks in Steve's base. Alright, and a dropship just came out for Steve. Picked up two Goliaths, and looks like it's heading south. 
Doesn't look like he's gonna try to stop those uh, five tanks that are pushing. Well, they're not really pushing, actually. They're yeah, they can't really do much against two tanks, really. I see Marcoon now. What, like, what is he gonna do against two Goliaths? He has nothing. He's got like three vultures, four vultures. I guess that bunker is probably full too. That's his only chance to draw him back. Uh, the natural expansion going up for Marcoon, but I mean, he's got how many SCVs? Like ten. Doesn't really need that at that point. Putting a turret up at the barracks. Okay. So two guys shut down the natural expansion for Marcoon. He's not pushing forward. Not making anything out of the factories. Not making. Oh, now making SCVs again. There we go. And it looks like he's a moving vultures against Goliaths. Now realizing it, stopping. Looks like Fake Steve wants to float to the bottom left base relative to his his main. A really, really strange game. I mean, that this proxy was very bad, very poorly executed uh, on both parts. The proxy barracks was bad, and the proxy factory. Also bad. <laughs> now Steve dropping his two Goliaths into the main, taking an SCV. Looks like the dropship stay alive. Another dropship coming in. I don't know what's in there. I've got to imagine Goliaths. Two more Goliaths. <laughs> Dropship and two Goliath drops uh, seem to be the, the theme in this game. For people saying on the stream they're confused, yes, I, I think we are confused as well. Looks like Marcoon has six tanks ready to push in. Steve has three tanks and a couple Goliaths, and he's going to shut this down very easily. Fourth tank now. And that is going to be El Shiro. Huh. <laughs> Advantage, Crotchmaster. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so uh, TL cannot Boy, lose say, now unless mic. it goes to Ace. Let me tell you what's uh, good. Can't be feeling too good about your chances at this point. You say it's good. Not best for last, so there's still more to come. I'm really hoping for everyone to uh, pick I'm the up. crotch master. Yes, I am. All the girlies want to do me and the homies. We say, also say the best for last. I can see it in the <laughs> eyes. They just want to be me. You were talking about last from Magic before. Well, uh, what can we see? I'm What's in store for us? Yes, I am. I'm not going to tell you. You're clearly messaging everyone on GGNet staff spam. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I could, if I was going to message, the first thing I would have said to Marcoon was make more SCVs. It's kind of painful. <laughs> I'm the crotch master. Yes, Why expand when you have like 10 SCVs? No, see, I, I'm sure the logic was to, you know, double SCV production in that second CC. But it didn't turn out too well for me. Oh, yeah, it's the old timing expand. Yeah. Uh, fake Steve wants everyone to know uh, tell everyone that's my super special one base monster attack. Wow. Clearly, no man Don't could stop me. that. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. If you see me coming, you better scram. If I should turn around too abruptly, my mighty sea dragon would knock you out. So I think, right uh, up. what do we have here? Lost yes, Romantic against, uh, CJ Effort. Uh, I believe that's going way. down on yeah, Sword in the Moon. Who's a crotch master? And I mean, how embarrassing to staff a, uh, a CJ pro gamer and, and lose to an amateur website. That's going to be I'm pretty embarrassing if it occurs. That would be pretty embarrassing, but, um, you know, he's, gonna, he's not going to go Zerg. Usually Effort plays uh, Zerg on this uh, map, but he's going to go with Terran instead. You know, wants to spice it up. Okay, I think a pro gamer off racing is is should be better than 
uh, you would hope. a normal person playing their main race. He's on. Know. He's on the. He's on the D team. Uh, the CJD team. I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Honorary member. <laughs> only. Oh, only so. on uh, CJ. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. After uh, letting a foreigner in, they just you know let anyone in now. They opened up till. D- That's the uh, the CJ plug is a uh, is a good segue into uh, on Team Liquid. I'm supposed to plug there's a there's a charity auction going on right now. You can bid what? on a, a signed CJ shirt from uh, Savior, Zelos, Much, and who is the fourth one? Unfortunately, I've forgotten. But uh, there's four four signed pro gamer shirts. Uh, you can check that out on the main page. Yeah, definite kudos to you guys for uh, doing this charity event type thing. Uh, Iris, Iris is the fourth person. By the oh way. yeah, Iris. Yeah, seriously, I think um, people are overestimating how much it's gonna it's gonna cost to get one of those shirts. But yeah. I mean, we'll just ha- we'll have to see. I could see a few. I could see a few crazy guys going five hundred dollars on one of those shirts. <laughs> I saw. I saw someone from Spain said he was willing to spend three to five thousand dollars, and we were saying that that's <laughs> for five thousand dollars you could fly to Korea, buy a CJ shirt, fly to Cali, get Savior to sign it, and then fly back to Spain. But I mean, it wouldn't go to charity, so we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, for those uh, unfamiliar with Last Romantic, he. Uh, He's a big fan of Yellow, uh, Hong Jin Ho, so I think we're gonna see his his uh, style reflecting that. So, what would you uh, suggest effort do? Just do a bunker rush then? <laughs> Maybe three times. Yeah, in a row. I don't know. Well, I don't. I honestly don't know much about Last Romantic except he said he wanted to do like some one base. Lurker style, and I said not to do that. <laughs> so we'll have to see what happens. Oh, looks Kong like there's Chang. a bit of uh, Kong Ming Chang. What's going on I don't in know who that is. Now. Are they doing right. shoutouts to? Yeah, to CJ uh, effort giving a shoutout to some unknown player I've never heard of. Kong White. I, I don't know who that is. Are those six Zerglings coming out right now? Well, I'd be very angry if they weren't. <laughs> the old nine pool into drones. Yeah. That's that's actually what I tried in uh, my 2v2 game. Ah, uh, interesting. I was trying to figure out if it was 12 pool or over pool. No, it was basically uh, me realizing I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Oh, interesting. It was me getting to nine, and then oh shit, should I make something now? Oh yeah, okay. And then so I. Was... Sorry, I was just gonna say, looks like he didn't go for speed. He's going for lair, uh, and keeping two zerglings held on the ramp. Very strange. Only one marine here, and he's giving the TT rather than defending. <laughs> He has time to, to say how sad he is about this attack. SCV's being pulled, one marine gets trapped. Second one in a terrible position gets trapped as well. SCV's doing nothing. I really would have wow. thought this would have been a better micro out of a, a CJ pro gamer, X pro gamer. Got, uh, like I said, D team. D team. D team still, pro gamer license. This is not, this is what you see. This is what you see on the D team. Another marine going down, and finally the zerglings get cleaned up. Looks like no more are coming. He's just got a uh, hydralisk den and a lair. Weird. Is he gonna go so it looks like, like fast lurker? It must be like one base lurker. I can't explain it any other way, really. Wouldn't make sense. This is awesome. Oh, but he's moved his. His Zerglings? Where's that SCV? It's still a top left. Looks like Effort didn't realize you can't just click where you want to scout because they glitch up on the back door. So his SCV, I mean, he hasn't even scouted Last Romantic at this point. And that might actually work in his favor because Last Romantic feels that there's uh, no SCV scout coming because it's coming at like the you know, six minute mark or whatever right now. 
so he's now hiding Lurker or Hydralisk. And he's got two at his ramp, gonna be turned into Lurkers as soon as that research finishes. This timing's gonna be close. He's gotta get the research like now. It's gotta fin oh there it goes. Okay, SCV gets blocked. Lurk Rags finished. Okay, apparently uh GG co commentator going FK, so uh it's gonna be me and uh Clazard if he's still here. Oh well of course, matey. Right, so, so have you seen this Clazard in in many of the uh, the multitude of pro games you've casted? Have you seen this opening very much? Oh well, I have to say it's very July esque. July esque, you know. Mm -hmm, yes. Interesting. July always does go for the nine pool into one base lurker lane. A keen observation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> five five rings now, pressuring these two. Two lurkers uh, moving in, trying to set up a contain on the ramp. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like he's trying to force his way into the back door. And a drone? Is he gonna expand? <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right, what does Effort have? Effort has a bunker and an expansion with like six marines, an academy. Last Romantic has one base. Lurker, a drone, and some random lurkers at the second base. Looks like he's gonna try to jump over. I really don't think this is gonna work, but let's see. <laughs> Using the drone to try to jump. Oh, oh wow! That was sick! Clearly been pra- holy crap, that was fast! That's hard to do. What is going on? This is incredible. <laughs> now, is he gonna get the next one over? Oh, spam! Okay, it's through. SCV coming to scout, looks like he might see it. So he's gonna try to jump into the mid- This is ridiculous. Now he's gonna try to jump. Effort doesn't realize it. He's coming back too slow. Oh, now he realizes it. Lurker's in! Oh my god! Two lurkers in, but he's got scam- Oh, burrow them shits! Oh my god, everything goes down. <laughs> uh. Okay. Anyway. The ruse is over. Last Romantic practices, I knew exactly what he was going to do the whole time, but uh, I told him this exact thing was going to happen, that his opponent would have like two groups of marines and he would jump in two lurkers, get scanned and raped. Still, no, style like points cool. though. That's true. Style points very uh, well received, especially in a grudge match like this. He's coming in with more lurkers and links. He's actually got a hive coming. One base hive. Now his natural finished. It's the wildest thing I've ever seen. All right. Let's see what we got. He's got stims. He's getting range coming. He's got a bunker. He's got his back door blocked off. Someone saying this guy is on the stream so clearly lol Okay, so I should just cast fake stuff um, Greater Spire now coming and uh, about four mutas out now and uh, Defiler Mound actually coming too, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I Wouldn't have thought he'd have enough gas after all those lurkers to get both Defilers and Guardians Especially since they don't seem to complement each other very well, so we have to see if he indeed has enough gas to go both of those. Um, Lurker's now pushing through, the bridge is guarded by, uh, or excuse me, Marine's pushing through against the Lurkers. And yeah, this is definitely uh, yellow style. See, uh, no drones, very hungry, very aggressive. Wow, an ultraless cavern now? And plus one finish for the Zerg, so, uh, very, uh, he's using his minerals very well, uh, how many, or how few of them there are. Kind of pushing in, uh, Terran immediately withdraws.
Wow, and the Nidus is going to go up at the proxy hatchery in uh, Effort's base, right by that uh, temple. The proxy hatchery finishes, and uh, the Nidus going up. So if he can mine through these minerals and kill that temple, uh, he'll be able to supplement that, uh, that lurker at the bottom left of his main. I'm surprised that uh, the temple hasn't been killed by Effort at this point. He seems kind of oblivious that this hatchery went up uh, at the bottom left and the, and the Nidus is in. Looks like Effort ignoring that. Uh, blocking his own ramp with eggs, cancelling now. Uh, Lurker's gonna have to come back. And, uh, yeah. It doesn't look too good for Romantic, but good burrow by the Lurkers. Some helpful lag. Someone, uh... Holding Alt F6 right there. Uh, surround is gonna rape. We have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people calling uh, that there is some cheating going on. Let's see about that. Maybe we've got a, a Mister's situation here. And with his natural dead and one hatch, Defiler doesn't look too good. Alright, I'm back, so what I miss? Uh, we've got uh, claims of cheating, but. Uh, oh no. Effort took him down pretty easily. And, uh, last romantic, I told you so. Moltke is here? Oh god, get him on the stream. Moltke, if you are listening, get on Ventrilo. Someone in IRC will tell you how to do it. Okay, just call me on my cell phone. I'll hold you up to my microphone. We need you on the stream ASAP. So what do you think of the game so far? Uh, it's been a good mix of like standard play and ridiculous strategies. It's, it's not been bad. I think that it, the worst game was definitely the 2v2. <laughs> That was pretty bad, I admit. <laughs> Someone had to fill in. Come on. You guys have so many people in the channel. No one could fill in? So the theme for the last game is going to be Mutiny. Uh, we have Spiral Architect. Which I believe was an old uh, GG Net member. That he was. He's gonna be teaming up with uh, Liquid Drone, Ariador, Randomidator. I don't know what other names he has, but there's a multitude of them. Uh, one of the the strangest styles and and a really good foreigner, but uh, obviously not very active now since the TSL. He's gonna be uh, going up against. Uh, ESX Raptor and Synergis, which I or Synergies, I don't know, uh, which I don't know anything about them. So, can you fill us in? Uh, no. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Can't say I've watched them play a lot. So. GG Net, a tight knit, -knit family. A rigorous application process of of sending a PM is required to uh, join their staff. Hey, hey, we don't just ex accept anybody. Those are pretty long PMs, man. Those are pretty long. <laughs> yeah, PMs. that's what I said. You got to send a PM. It's not like you can just long. just mash a keyboard and be on the team. You got to send a PM. It's tough. Yeah.
So, uh, I guess if this match goes to GG Net, we're going to go to Ace. That'll be pretty exciting. And Ace is going to be on the old school map, Requiem. Stop. Wait, so we're not gonna do that freestyle battle? Oh, we can still do it. That that'll be a uh, pre-game warm-up. Oh, pre-game warm-up. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> kind of get uh, the admin of Team Liquid saying he just sent a PM to GGNet. Me join staff. I don't know if that qualifies. Would that be good enough? Sadly, no. Oh, I don't think it has to be more something like. Qualified. I have five new replays, can I join? Oh, uh, interesting. Do they have to be Mondragon replays, or can they be anyone? I think so. <laughs> uh, five new Mondragon replays, where would I find those? That is pretty, it's pretty hard to get. Interesting. Yes, not, Phil, not I'm just, reading it. Not just five new replays, it's more like... FIVE NEW REPLAYS! <laughs> I wish we could retroactively go back and put that voice in so whenever you click on that thread, that's what happens. <laughs> Plays that sound bite. What? Captain Obvious is back? Wow. What a stud. He's back. Okay, so apparently your members lag very badly, and we can't even use Chaos. Clearly a ploy. In the stalling. We're still trying to find our ace match person. Just give us some time. In this lull, I can tell you a story where I used to have an ID. I can't remember what it was, but on PG Tour, I would get a lot of units ready and then get them all A moving. And then uh, I wouldn't make the game laggy, but I would set it to extra high latency so that, like, in Zerg vs. Terran, for example, I would get all my ultralists moving and then set it to extra high latency so they couldn't micro. So, and I see a similar tactic here. You're sending in the laggers so uh, we, can't, we can't micro. <laughs> I'm wondering um, if we can get a count on what percentage of your user base is banned from Team Liquid. Because I noticed in the thread, uh, GG against Team Liquid, uh, the majority of people cheering for GGNet just said, I got banned from Team Liquid. No, the thing is, they're just the most vocal. You know, all the people that get banned from TL are usually the most vocal people uh, on your community, or in your community. Uh, that's why they end up always, you know, talking a lot in GG.net. And there goes Raptor. Oh, interesting. Alright, I don't know why everyone's not leaving, but okay. I'm hoping I don't have to fill in again. That didn't turn out too <laughs> well first time. I think everyone is hoping you don't have to fill in again. So we're going no chaos. Dangerous. Oh, thanks, Spades. You're a faggot. I hate you.
Okay, so here we go, no chaos. This is on uh, on Iron Curtain. Are you familiar with Iron Curtain? Uh, 2v2 map, and then something in the middle separating both sides, mineral lines, something like that. Yeah, that's actually exactly right. The, uh, the interesting thing is whether both players spawn on similar sides, so, you know, they, they share a base and they, they share resources, or if, uh, if, they, if they spawn on opposite sides, then it can be, you know, it can almost turn into two one-on-ones, where they just fight on their own side, or if one player rushes... Oh, look at that. Units. Raptor, Raptor dropped even before the game began. Oh, interesting. While you guys get your stuff together, I'm going to take a washroom break. You and Clazart can fill in. Freestyle battle. Uh, epic debate. <laughs> uh, unit sounds. Whatever you want. I'll be right back. Battle Cruiser Operational. Your turn, man. Not gonna do it. Oh, come on. Come on. Check out IRC, people want you to do it. Do what? <laughs> do it, Phantom, do it. He doesn't want to do the unit sounds. Do it! Oh my god. I can't. I guess Why you can't, come on. Just believe in yourself, right, looks man. Like, uh, looks like we got a little problem here. That. Uh, this GG sub guy <laughs> is not who we think he is. Uh, treachery is afoot. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to stop this game. Ah. Uh. A perfect time for some unit sounds. <laughs> Dude, there's so many easy ones. Like a medic okay, chill, dying. You're... Scourge, mutas. Crotch master? Cut, cut! <laughs> Crouch Master! <laughs> Alright! So tell us, how does it feel uh, to have thousands of women simultaneously scream your name, Steve? Feels great, man. I got my dick out right now. I'm putting my pinky right in the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Urethra? That's what you call it? That's the term, I guess? Yeah, and it goes pretty far down there, too, man. I'm really glad I trimmed my fingernails today, because I had this hangnail earlier, and that would have caused some shit. That would have really hurt. I have no idea what that has to do with <laughs> being a crotch master, but fair enough. Well, I mean, we're talking about StarCraft here, you know? <laughs> Is that even pleasurable? Yeah, man. Why don't you come here? My pinky is really good at this, man. I swear. Alright. <laughs> Chill doesn't sound like he's convinced. I'll try anything one and a half times. 
dude, there's no halfway on this. There's no halfway. What do you think? I'm going to shove my pinky in there and leave That's it there? <laughs> Forever? I just hope you got a lot of money, buddy. <laughs> All right. Why did you proxy and then save up four Marines? Makes no sense. Uh, don't be stupid. If you attack with three Marines, then he's like, Aw, oh, fuck. Fuck my ass. Fuck me in the ass. If you attack with just one, he's gonna kill it. He's gonna be like, oh, okay. Eight racks. I've seen that before. Strategy's clearly above my head. Just, um, I'm actually feeling uh, a bit dizzy right now just thinking about it. It hasn't sunk in really, you know. It might take a few years before we catch on to the glory, the, uh, the genius. Well, I'm a really good player, and uh, once everybody else starts realizing that, that's, I'll be a lot more debatable. Popular. Very debatable. <laughs> Get our second player coming. Uh, it doesn't look like Raptor's coming in. We're gonna get someone in to fill in, fill in for him. <laughs> I don't you know guys suck. You can't even get your lineup together. This is well, terrible. if they wouldn't keep dropping in our twos, it'd be okay. Yeah, that's exactly my point. We had the lineup. They just keep dropping. <laughs> I guess it's been so long since they played, they, they don't even know what Chaos yeah. Ranger is at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Artanis is our guy. Artanis? Artanis is playing? Artanis? Napoleon Dynamite? <laughs> God! <laughs> You guys really want to lose, don't you? You could sub in anyone, and you pick fucking Artanis. Artanis is brutal. Hey guys, this is Gigi.net Artanis, and uh, I just want to say that chill, you're. You're really mean, you know, I just, because I heard you call me terrible on the stream, and I don't think that's very nice. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know if I can forgive you, because I have a lot of issues that I'm trying to deal with here, and you just throw them on the top, throw them on the top. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Artanis. I love you. Did you meet Artanis? No, I just like that guy. He's cool. Oh, I thought you met him for some He listens to, to the same bands I do. That makes him cool. Ah, uh, fair. That's how it works. Should I even be in here? Should I leave or what? What's going on? No, stay, man. I don't stay. Know. I think you can sub in for Phantom. He doesn't seem to want to talk anyway. I fucking love talking. A little scared. What is G G D G D G? Is that supposed to be G G? If so, it's so brilliant it went above my head. Can I join in? It's not hard. You're like five foot four. No, I. Aren't we like similar heights? I'm not five foot four. <laughs> okay, that's not what I asked. Don't you even think of telling me I'm five foot four? Well, are we talking about your head height or your erect penis height? There's already a song about that. It's been covered, we know. <laughs> 
Oh, Moldy don't you is have coming a... on vent. Oh don't my god! I'm don't so you have excited. a StarCraft match to, match to cast there, Chill? Uh, what, whatever. Kale's gonna win. Whatever. None of us even like this game. It's true. But Team Liquid pays us so much. So much money. Dude, have you played Street Fighter Third Strike? I'm all about that now. That game is so dope. I don't even care. I don't care what your interests are. Let's talk more about me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I just came back. What happened? Just talking just shit. Came back from what? Uh, something came up. But anyway, so two v two, Iron Curtain. Uh, what's happening now? I just want Moltke to get invent. Who is Moltke? Does he have a microphone? Oh my Who's god! This guy? I'm so excited. You have no idea. Someone give Mulkey the password ASAP. Mulkey! He, he's in. For anyone who's still interested in the game, looks like uh, the guys. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Looks like that's Liquid Drone right there, and Artanis have spawned on. Oh, right, the east right side there. The oh, right there. Oh, so it looks like exactly the, what yeah, you're exactly. thinking. Right there, right there. Yeah. Just imagine where my finger's pointing. Uh, right, and we got Spiral, top left, Synergist, bottom left. They're gonna duke it out. Moldy, do you have a microphone? Am I saying your name correctly? Say something ASAP. Oh my god. Say I think people want us to... <laughs> someone uh, says either fucking cast or start freestyling. <laughs> well, you wouldn't say unit so I don't know. Getting a little gay in here, I'm taking off. All the girls <laughs> out there, look me up, crotch master out! <laughs> I forgot to tell you, spoilers <laughs> suck. That. So they actually spawned uh, cross positions here. So we've got uh, the Protoss, who is this uh, Ariador Liquid Drone at bottom right, is defending the Zergling attack from Artanis, which, as expected, was a pretty big failure. As is this the real Crotchmaster? Nah, he left. Ah, damn. Got uh, Spiral. Is uh, attacking with some zerglings against uh, Synergis and doing pretty terribly. I don't know why he would put his hatchery there as opposed to the natural. Like it just makes no sense. Looks like uh, Ariador hasn't been attacking. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Or sorry, hasn't been playing very much. He's, he's forced to put up a cannon in his mineral line against Artanis's Zerglings. That seems kind of strange. Right, and it looks like both Protosses are moving out. It's like a mirror down the middle. Almost an iron curtain, if you will. It's not very reflective, but... Polished iron? <laughs> oh, 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 what sick. the f What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck Ghost Gamers, what is this bullshit? What? Simultaneously drop? That was pretty amazing. First time I've ever seen something like that. Okay. I don't think we can call that anything but a loss. It's like... One attack the exact same... The exact same thing was happening. Oh, 
the exact same on team. Both oh, sides. What, a, what a coincidence. Oh, an on attack I can't sides. defend. Oh, simultaneous disconnect. Oh, who wonder? <laughs> if anything, it was probably one of you guys pulling the plug on them. Via yeah, you chill. chill. <laughs> the old disconnect hack, which doesn't exist. Exactly. Well, the old one exists. I don't know if the new one does. Huh? Showmatch Ace Game. Oh, we're doing a shoutcasting ace match? I don't know, that's what I'm getting oh, from no. GTA. <laughs> How many of your players have disconnected? So many. Right, and who's hosting the games here? Who's hosting the games? I think uh, uh, you guys are. Uh, you realize once the games launch, it's peer to peer. Do you know anything about this game? Not really. They actually just got me yeah. on to do this right now. Oh, uh, that's what I said. They found someone in the alley. <laughs> it's no big deal. Hey, hey, I don't live in the alley. There's an actual whole thing. They found you in the alley. You were doing whatever you do in the no, alley. No, no, no. Earning a living. No. That's where How they found I, you. Why would I have a computer out in the middle of an alley? Like, that just doesn't make sense. Guy, why I can see your computer was in the yeah. alley. That's wireless. where they I found was you. Wireless. Doing whatever. I was actually stealing wireless from someone else on, in the alley. That's sad. You're stealing exactly. wireless from a homeless was... man in the alley? <laughs> While jerking why him would off? a homeless man? Why? Hey, what? don't put words into my mouth. Don't put, wor that's, don't put uh, words That's what I heard. I'm reading IRC. Oh. Uh, not, not reading it. Oh, uh, separate channel. Earning a living in the alley. No. All right. So, are we going with this ace match? He's playing the ace match. I don't know. I'm waiting for GTR to say something. Is that the real effort? CJ effort? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You seem really bad for a pro gamer. <laughs> What'd I say? D team. What does Artanis do for your site? <laughs> He's. Oh, wait, I know this. He is the. charge of a ghost it, it, Really? I thought he was well, like the event he, coordinator. Oh, well, yeah, he does that too. Uh, I remember I had to play what? him in a show match once. That wasn't pleasant. Get him. <laughs> I still can't believe those two guys got dropped last game. Synergist and Artanis. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Actually, I can kind of believe it. Given the. Well, it is Artanis. <laughs> they must have had it synced, hey? Like, like, alright, we'll drop. Like, on the phone with each other? Alright, drop now. It was simultaneous. Alright, so final game is LML versus Eriador. Yep. PVZ on Requiem. Which clearly favors Protoss. LML splitting to the slow mining minerals, which is one of my biggest pet peeves.
No, apparently we're getting word Molky's microphone doesn't work, so... One day... I'll be able to hear him talk, but... But, not today. I heard his voice once. My yeah. ears started bleeding. I think, um... Oh, he's saying something. Oh, his mic's on! Molky talk! <laughs> I think um, Proxy 2 Gate is really strong on, on Requiem. I'll have to see how Eriador defends against that. Dude, if you're not gonna say something, stop holding down your push to talk button. Twelve hatch? Really? Or is this a nine hatch? Nine hatch? Oh man, this is old school. This build like pretty much does not exist anymore. Can we see LML is going twelve nexus. He must be right. Forge. What? Well, I think he's going for the Bisu build, you know. <laughs> Excellent insight, Clazard. I don't know why he would forge after scouting a uh, fast expansion and no spawning pool. Probably Unless he wants Ultralisk. To... Unless he wants to like hop the minerals and put up uh, cannons, but actually that doesn't even make sense. I have no idea, it makes no sense. I think uh, he's bad, that's probably uh, the answer. Alright, so now the Nexus should go up. I don't know what that drone is doing at the nat natural for Eridor. He probably doesn't have enough minerals to make a third hatch. It seems kind of strange that he would Maynard one drone, but maybe it's worth it, I don't know. Uh, cannon's going up now, at the natural for LML. So, I don't know, um, is this new Requiem or old Requiem? I know in old Requiem, you can actually run Zerglings behind the minerals, but you can't run drones. So there's a lot of expansions behind this, these natural minerals, uh, and to get to access to them, you actually need to hop drones. Uh, similar to what Last Romantic did uh, with his... Uh, his lurkers and his his drones in uh, the game on Medusa, or excuse me, on uh, uh, Sword in the Moon. Hey, Artanis is on vent. Okay. Artanis, what's up? Yo, what's up? Why'd you drop back? We counted to ten and then we dropped. No, I know. You were on the phone with each other, weren't you? I see through your plan. Oh man, his cannons doesn't c don't cover the nexus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Artanis, man, why is your website so bad? No comment. Dude, his cannons do not cover the Nexus. How do you make that mistake? This is like over. There's some sick lag. Uh, Eridor trying to kill the Nexus, that's not gonna work. Why did he run away as probes? Probes. Oh, he actually jumped out. one. He should use that jumped one to expand back there. What else is he gonna do? He's gonna live for now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's funny how safe Eridor is playing, like, given the skill differential. 
Like he's got a sunken up. Clearly unnecessary. He opened nine hatch. Oh, so Artanis, we were talking earlier. What um, what's your title at Ghost of Gamers? What do you actually do? There's some argument. I was the event team leader, but now I'm just uh, quite inactive. Is that your title? Quite inactive. If only I'm. I actually have some responsibilities now. Interesting. What are those responsibilities? Yeah, you can plug stuff now if you want. Go to gamer stuff. Do it. Well, occasionally, uh, Cotton gives me something to do and he expects me to do it. Who? Cotton? I'm back. I'm back. Is that the real crotch master? Hey, can we talk about Jared losing for a minute? I'm very. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, hold on, hold on. I uh, I wrote a new rap. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I uh, <laughs> it's about this and how great I am. How great I am at rapping and StarCraft and everything else I do. So, I guess this game's kind of over. Uh, drone is kind of. Kicking the shit out of this guy. Yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. Well then. Don't worry. <laughs> Me and uh, Synergy Swarm are the only ones to drop back. No one cares about that. Now shut up, <laughs> it's rhyme time. Can we get a beatbox <laughs> on the drill ASAP? If you can beatbox. Well, I'm fake Steve with a brand new rock. I wrote this rhyme while jerking off in my sock. It's not easy typing with one hand, so if this is kind of sloppy, please try to understand. Now I want a match called TVT. All the tanks and Goliaths want to get with me. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not gay. Drop ship and medics is what I meant to say. I started out with a proxy, eight racks. Whole position micro them to the max. It would have been better if he didn't wall, but unfortunately playing like a man takes balls. I guess my site has won this match, except less romantic and his one hatch and Jared's weird build with Mike was so poor but all the girlies still say Steve give us some more Crossmaster out again <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> oh my I thought that was gonna actually be bad, but it turned out to be unbelievable. <laughs> oh man. So, I mean, Artanis, Phantom, do you guys have any justification for, I mean, why you guys got the shit kicked out of you? Anything? Anything to tell your. There's like ten fans. What is, what is the score now? Four two. Like five two after this. Five two after this. I was winning, truly. <laughs> no, you weren't. He was. He was kind of winning. He was kind of, kind of, just a little. In fact, in fact, he wasn't. <laughs> See, StarCraft isn't a an objective game. I wouldn't say. I just made him think yeah. he was winning. Uh, I think it's actually lagging because Intrigue said he was tearing up from the uh, the rap. Probably uh, caused some sort of short circuit with his uh, modem. I think we need a rematch. <laughs> yeah, okay. When you guys <laughs> simultaneously disconnected, things look a little fishy. That was kind of weird. As I said, we timed it. 
So why would we give you a rematch? You just admitted you disconnected. Because I was ahead. Interesting. Perfect sense. Apparently the new way to play StarCraft is as soon as you have the slightest margin of uh, of advantage, just disconnect. New style. Obviously. And when you have a disadvantage, you disconnect and say you had an advantage. Oh wait, shit. <laughs> That's fair. So let's take bets on if LML will ever get out of this containment. I will bet no. Oh, looks like uh, radar is about to drop. Looks like this is gonna end. He was, uh, this is cute. He was gonna drop behind the minerals, but LML smelt it. He's actually got a cannon back there. There goes the drop. Yeah, this is gonna end it. Come on, disconnect quick! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> MC lag. Lag. Alright, well, I think this sums up the match right here. Uh, pretty much the biggest rape you've ever witnessed. And, uh, I mean, Jared, how do you feel being uh, one of two on the losing end? It's got a sting. What happened? You trained so hard. You're so much better. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I guess I just pulled a Noni and choked. I don't know. Alright, I'm, I don't take that. Did you research uh, Storm? Yep. Then there's no excuse, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this kid is arguing about lag. He got raped like the worst I've ever seen. He's complaining about lag. You don't have a nexus in your main. You don't need to complain about lag. You don't have access to any minerals to mine from. He still got this though. No worries. He is Protoss, which uh, makes me a little worried for Drone. I'm still waiting for that Bisu build, you know? <laughs> Interesting. Have you ever heard Combat X's description of the Bisu build? No, I say it. No, that's clear. I can't even, like, match what he actually says. You need to go find what it is. But it's pretty much any fast expansion is the Bisu build. That's the gist of it. Fast expansion. I'm glad I'm not going to the rush. And then that got truncated into uh, just building a pylon. Is now a uh, BC build. Someone's asking, are we gonna, are we gonna be releasing replays? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been saving them. Has, has anyone? Come on, LML, hide some pylons, please. Yeah, <laughs> that actually would be cute. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, apparently we don't have replays. It's a very serious event, like the TSL, we're only replay, uh, releasing VODs. Okay, well maybe. Auto replays in the new chaos? I don't know. No wait, I'll, I'll drop drone. Don't drop yourself, drop drone. That's a better idea. We're now getting told that there may be five new replays from this match. Wow. Wow, very, oh uh, look for the news post on that, oh my god. 
five new reapers. I'm not wow. I'm not sure they're gonna get posted if they're not from underground. Oh, they're better. Can't guarantee it. I can. Good game, in quotations. It was the lag. Sorry guys, it was the lag why I lost. <laughs> well, apparently it was the lag why GGNet lost 5 of 7. Exactly. <laughs> that connection just not working for us today. Damn. Yeah, today. Both 2v2s, people drop in. Ace match leg. My god. We should have done this on Hamachi or something. God. We should do it later. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, no, woulda. You know we'll just fly. We'll just fly, we'll just fly everybody that. to uh, to a neutral territory. I don't know, somewhere in the Middle East, and uh, we'll just have a land there. How about we do it at the GGNet office? Does don't race? Who is it? Raceland and uh, Mazer? Don't they have Raceland and Mazer? Don't they have an office? A GGNet office, if you will. Let's <laughs> do it there. Inside uh, picks. We're inside work. Okay. Well, we'll get inside pictures of the the headquarters. Oh, okay. I think they moved out of that. I'm not sure. I can't confirm this. But uh I know Raceland's moved back home. Uh, it's disappointing. Yeah. So guys. Uh everyone really wants the unit sounds. Of <laughs> what? So, I, I already did one, so it's your turn. What did you do? I did the battle cruiser. Oh yeah, you were away. Oh, I was taking a press when you did it. I think the one I can do is um, a science vessel exploding. But oh, do that. It won't be All very right, good. Do it. Do it. <laughs> 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 I think uh, if if TL does win, it's probably through Fake Steve's rap. That's pretty much uh, what really won it. This uh, this five two score, nothing compared to that rap. All right, well, I think we killed you in games. We killed you in rap. Killed in you in rap unit and unit sounds. You know what? Hey, yeah. come on to WoW. Come on to WoW. Play me in WoW. Yeah, we're a StarCraft site. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, you know what? When you guys start covering Warcraft Dota, uh, come back, huh? Come back and then... What are you talking about? We cover StarCraft. It's like... No, no, no. It's like no, going no. to, like, TSN and being like, when you guys cover, like... Uh, like essays by uh, by it? authors, come talk to us. No, I, did you ever see them cover? Uh, they were doing spelling bees at one point. I was like, what the fuck? I turned on yeah, TSN and I saw a spelling bee. No, I'm serious. I'm like, what the hell's going on? What did I just? <laughs> All right, when you guys start covering research for uh, cancer cures, then come talk to us. Actually, we could. Wait, you guys uh, do research for weapons How's that going? We have Clazard on staff, man. He's a doctor. What do you think he does all day? <laughs> well, of course. We did used to have a uh, physician. <laughs> you remember uh, Entropy? Uh... Do I remember him? Oh, man. <laughs> what was it? Knowledge is a double edged well, sword. But it's best to hold oh. it by the handle. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> And now, if I could end this uh, cast with a quote by a Romanian, one sec for me to bring it up. Actually, it might be best for uh, Zio to read it. What? Yes, I am. My scrotum always smells as fresh as my jams. If you start shit, I just open my fry. And quote by a Romanian. When my beast teach your eye, I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. Smoke a hundred joints till uh, fucking AM. Huffin'. I'm not in any channel or something. So.
Thou shalt not covet thy wife. It's in my car. It already belongs to the crotch man. I think so. I don't sweat the hoes, bitches ain't shit. I'm the crotch man. Click that you are. Are you cute? No, 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 no. The URL. Right click my name, <laughs> miscellaneous. Uh, and then open the URL. I'm the crotch master. Yes, I am. Plugging up holes in the Hoover Dam. Alright, let's end this. Come on. Do the club. After the quote, we'll shut her down. Who's the crotch Do it, Zio. <laughs> you win one million dollar. Buy a Ferrari, look at me, I'm so happy. Then you crush it into a wall, who the fuck is happy then? You go to Osman, a ski trip. You fell, break some bones, let me hear you laugh, fucker. You buy that thing assuming it will make you happy and that's about it. Can money buy happiness? Retarded question. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. TL owns GGNet, and uh, good night.